Now your Mac comes with a lot of really great programs pre-installed, but you may find that you will want to download some programs either from the internet or maybe install some third-party applications. So how do we do this? Well, I've already downloaded a program called Firefox. Now, just touching on that a little bit, Apple comes with Safari, which is a great web browser, but you may find that Safari may not display 100% of the pages perfectly, or maybe some internet banking may not like Safari, or may recommend that you use another program, say like Firefox. So I've downloaded Firefox, and I'm going to show you right here. It's in my downloads folder. Now with Safari, downloads will automatically go to the downloads folder. So where is that actually? It lives here in your user data, and right now we're in S2M, and you see I have a downloads folder. And this basically mimics my stack in my doc. So you see that they're all the same. So what I can do here is I can launch this or I can quickly click on this Firefox disk image and you'll notice the .dmg, that stands for disk image, and by clicking on it, it will mount it for us. So here it goes. We're gonna mount this disk image. And essentially what's happening is a disk image is a compressed downloadable file and when I click on it, it uncompresses on your desktop, kind of like opening a suitcase. And inside, so let's just take a look at that. If I click here on our disk image, I can look inside of it and see that here we have our Firefox application. Now what some people sometimes do is try to run it from here, and you can. But every time you restart your Mac, this disk image will unmount and your application will seem like it's disappeared. So the proper way to install this is by clicking on this little, the right side icon, and dragging that full program into your applications folder like this. And there you go, it's installed. Now some programs don't install this way. They will have a more traditional installer that will walk you through a process. And essentially all you will do is just follow the instructions. At the end of those instructions, your application will be installed inside your applications folder.